Ooh, hello there, my fellow miners and crafters. Good times. Oscar here, and welcome back to Chaos Crafts SMP server series, episode one here. And we are in the great frontier of Chaos Craft, and we're going to start on our starter home. And our starter home is going to be a covered wagon. So, something a little different today, I think, is going to be really fun. So, as you can see, I've got ourselves a little uh, plot of land set up, and we, we have here is we have a block placed down and then we went seven blocks down and from that block another seven blocks so seven by seven and yeah so let's jump right into it so what we're going to do is we're going to start building some wheels and getting all sorts of cool little details put together and we're actually uh, starting out pretty good today i think this is gonna be a really fun project to kind of get started on the server and kind of do something a little different all right so we're going to place a big old blocker right about there and then I'm going to place this here and I'm going to go boom and a bam like a so jump on top and sneak it around. There we go. Looking good. So I always like to do something fun um, when we do start out a new series. Um, when we start out the roller coaster project, of course, we made the the famous now green tent. And uh, yeah, for this one, I think a covered wagon is going to be super fun. Back in the day when uh, our family moved from California to Oregon, um, <laughs> The only, the only thing I could think of Oregon is the Oregon Trail. So, of course, the first thing I did was go out and buy uh, the Oregon uh, Trail Lego set, which was a covered wagon. Um, so <laughs> that was my uh, that was my first thought when we were going to Oregon. I was like, the, you, you mean the, the covered wagon trail, the Oregon Trail, the game? <laughs> there we go. And get that all looped around there. And look at that tire looking pretty darn sweet. You know, you got to watch out for the dysentery, you know, when it comes to the Oregon Trail. There we go. Get that set up. Wonderful. And then boom. Oh, hey, there was no boom and there was no bam at that point. There we go. Put that on there. Nice. That looks good. There we go. Yeah. So we're getting the wheels kind of sorted out. Getting this all put it together. Getting the axles on here. This is almost like scrap mechanic at this point. There we go. And then we're going to put this along here. Cut that in like so. And then we're just going to connect it here just so we have something to work with. And yeah, look at that. We've got ourselves a little uh, base set up and it's looking good. So what we're going to work on now here is we're going to jump over and grab out some extra material and we're just going to start to kind of look around here and kind of figure out where we want to go from here. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go like this and then I'm going to jump. Oh, oh, oh my, that's not correct. There we go. We're going to do something like that. OK, so that's one block above there. We could have just done like a sneaky dirt block there. That might have looked a little bit better, but um yeah so as we're kind of playing along here i hope you guys want to build this with me because that'd be super awesome so i want you guys to work on this in your own worlds along with me here and let me get that across there and just to double check yeah that looks nice and then we'll do that sneaky block i talked about but yeah i want you guys to build this along with me and if you do definitely take a screenshot and send it to me on twitter because i always love to see you guys building things with me and of course uh, when we did build the green tent uh, that was so cool. So many of you guys built that uh, along with me and sent to me on Twitter and so many like unique and creative takes on it, which was really cool to see. All right. And there we go. So we've got kind of the the rims of it all set up. Um, so what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to go down one more block like that. As you can see, I'm just going to go around one more and then I'm going to sneak on over here and I'm going to do the same thing right on down there. And that's looking good. So how about I do the other side and I'll be right back. All right, and welcome back. And as you can see, we've got our wheels set up on this side over here. Now let's jump up over here. Let me grab out a little bit of scaffolding. There we go. And away we go. All right, so as you can see, I did add a platform to the top. And what I did was I just connected it to the, the axle that went across there that we put down and then just added a little wood floor that filled in all of the gaps here and got that all set up. So next thing we're gonna do is we are going to start right at the center kind of the wheel. We're gonna go one block here and then a one block spacing as you can see on either side. And then we're gonna, oh, that's Bob the Building Creeper Inspector down there, making sure these wheels are all up to code. All right, so we're gonna bring this up four blocks. So as you can see, we brought that up four blocks and then we're just gonna put a little bit of scaffolding down there. Oh my gosh, he is looking at us. All right, so what we're working on now is the most important part, of course, of a covered wagon is the canvas tent at the top. So what we're gonna do to try to make this look nice and fancy is we're gonna go with our light gray stained clay and we're gonna go out about seven blocks all the way down to the back here. All right, then we're gonna switch over to our white stained clay and we're gonna do four. So as you can see, we went to four right there looking very very fancy and we're just bring that all the way across to there looking good okay we are off to a great start so what we're going to do now is we're going to go five so we went seven across on this one 
And now we're going to go five on our gray here. Looking good, looking good. There we go. We're going to get that across. And then once again, we're going to continue the four uh, white stained clay blocks across there. So I've been trying to figure out what would be something super awesome to build on the server. Now, I originally was talking about doing something related to a tree, um, a tree house. So we're going to fill this in, but we might make a modification. This might be a little more than I wanted to put here. So this is one, two, three, four, five. Yes. So what we're going to do is we're just going to cut off here. We're going to cut off there. And as you can see, we went down from seven, five and three. So I've been talking about a tree house. Um, the tree house design requires a particular biome and a particular style of terrain. And unfortunately, I haven't found that yet. And I want to save that design till we can get a perfect environment for that particular build. And I'm so worried about jumping down here, having that creeper milling about. So I might not do that. So what I've been trying to come up with is maybe something something a little different. Um, I want to build a house that may have like a big pile of snow on the top. So it's something, you know, kind of in the mountains, maybe a ski cabin or I don't know, something along those lines I've been thinking about. Um, but what do you guys want to see? Let me know. What are, what are your thoughts? What, what, do you, what are you feeling like right now that something you would like to see me build if we didn't do the tree house? So, oh gosh, there he is. Oh geez, I saw the head. I saw the head. I saw that, that, that green skin. Oh, uh, Bob the Building Creeper Inspector. All right, so let's uh, finish this section over here. He is down there, and the problem is there's quite a bit of lag for me on the server, and I can't deal with creepers. Like, I, I, if they are anywhere near me, they explode. They're just gone. It's crazy. All right, so I'm going to sneakily... Oh, gosh, there he is. Oh, jeez. Oh, gosh, there he is. Oh, jeez. He's... Here he comes. See, if I deal with him, he's going to blow up. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. I'm going to hit him. I'm going to back up. Oh, gosh. <laughs> that wasn't a really great demonstration because I tried to back up and I got, you know, caught on a block. But ah, I just can't deal with them right now. So as you can see, we've got our uh, canvas set up here. And uh, yeah, it's looking pretty good. So let me do the other side and I'll be right back. All right. And welcome back. So as you can see, we've got our canvas all set up and ready to go. So now what we're going to do is add a little bit of pizzazz to it, a little more detail just the way we like it. There we go. So what we're going to do is we're just going to kind of run this design along the side here. And I think that'll look really cool. So we're just putting this down like that. And then we'll put that like this, making sure we follow the right line. There we go. And we'll jump off here, kind of take a quick look at our handiwork. And yeah, that looks pretty good. So this video that I'm trying to record right now has taken hours because I've had to do with some uh, like personal matters. Like one, one suggestion I always give people, make sure you do your Minecraft backups. Make sure you back up your world, but also make sure you keep and back up all your financial information because you never know when somebody's gonna try to rip you off, IRS, something like that. But then you're like with like a ninja, like a ninja in the night. You show up with, with your records and they're like, oh, my bad, haha. <laughs> so make sure you guys always keep records of everything in life because you know, it might clutter up your space, might clutter up your computer if we're talking about Minecraft uh, backups, but boy, it'll save you. Believe me, my friends, believe me. Especially when you get to be a ninja in the night and you're like, mm-mm-mm, uh -uh, I got my ninja papers right here. Uh -huh. All right, my friends. As you can see, we're uh, moving along quite nicely, and uh, I can see a scar mistake that I'm going to fix right away. So as you can see, we are going to just jump right over here real quick and go boom. Oops. Oh, that's I'm making so many scar mistakes right now. It's it's definitely getting a little scary tonight. There we go. We've got that set. And now we're going to place that right there like so. I was looking at it. I was like, OK, we're going to place these right there. And I was like, wait a second. We've got a scar mistake alert here. There we go. Put that down like that. And yeah, look at that. We're starting to get somewhere. We're starting to get somewhere. Definitely. So let's head into the cabin here of our little wagon. And this thing's awesome. If this could really move, oh, it'd be amazing. Anyway, my friends, let's let's get, let's see what we can do about sprucing this up and making it look a little fancier inside and get all the little details down. So what I want to do up in the front, um, and I don't really know. I'm just going to kind of play around with it, figure out what I can do to make some magic happen. There we go. Put something out like that. And then what we could do, maybe even just come in here like that. And this is kind of where the kind of the, the back section of the um, the vehicle is. So this is kind of just the back area. So we'll just kind of fill it in a little bit like this. And then what we could do later on is, hmm, we go like something like this. Yeah, that looks good. So we'll just kind of cover it up, make the little axle wheel all look, you know, symmetrical and perfect. This looks like it's, you know, just kind of right over the wheel, protecting it from any debris on our journey. There we go. 
looking good looking great actually there we go put those blocks along there and yeah at this point it's kind of just whatever your imagination takes you you know you're just kind of filling in all the spots making sure everything looks detailed enough um, no real right way or wrong way of doing it at this point you're just kind of filling in the blocks making sure all the little mistakes and all the little corners are fixed and there we go Awesome, looking definitely pretty good. So this is gonna be the front of the vehicle. So eventually maybe we'll do like a little tent, a campfire, or something along those lines right about there. And I think that'll look definitely really cool. So let's, um, let me just kind of play around with this a little bit more. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys in a couple minutes. And welcome back. So what we're gonna do is just add just layers upon layers of detail now. So we're just trying to get that detail down. And you might be asking, Scar, what's even gonna go in this wagon train of yours? And what we're going to do inside is add a lot of chests, a bed, and all the things that we need, of course, for our mining and our crafting. And I think it'll look really cool to have it all kind of arranged inside of our fun little wagon here. There we go to get started, of course. I think this is a really cool, fun getting started device. There we go. Put that across there. And we'll just clear out the scar mistake. And yeah, just kind of cleaning everything up. And of course, this is the back of the vehicle. So what I'm going to do is just kind of cut in here a little bit and see about adding some more detail. Oh gosh, I've been so scared about the creepers ever since our little encounter. So I'm kind of on edge a little bit at the moment. There we go. And then let's see if we have some half slabs. Oh, yes, we do. Nice. Um, so I'm thinking like a bed can go across here. We can start stacking chests along these sides over here like this. So maybe do something like that. Oh, hello. Um, maybe do something like this. Put these guys along here. And we still have maybe uh, some furnaces can be dug down a little bit deeper and then put the bed across here. I think that would look really cool. So yeah, that's pretty much the interior here. It's pretty much a place to put your bed, a place to put your supplies, your cooking devices, and all those good things I think can make um, something really cool. So I think that'd be really nice, especially for like an early structure. If you want to do something different, a little bit something original, I think this is kind of cool. Um, so what I'm doing over here is just kind of double checking to make sure these things so i messed around with the uh the whip the whip the whip and the width of these so there i brought them in just a little bit more that's why this one's a little bit off so i was just kind of experimenting a little bit and i think that'll look pretty cool um i might bring in these pieces like this there we go so i think that looks really neat. good okay um, i'm gonna go and sneak out my bed so i don't get attacked here come on there mr zombie come on get out of here don't bring in your friends don't bring your friends there we go we win all right, wonderful. So then over here, I think I'm gonna drop down the bed like right up there. Nice, that's looking really cool. Um, next thing I wanna do is maybe dig out some of these blocks along here and see what we could do about adding some furnaces. So if we can start to kind of get some detail built into the edges, I think that would be really nice. So if I came back over here and then cut in like that, we still have access to our stoves. And yeah, so I think that's a that's something cool I think we can do more of if we kind of opened up this area, maybe do some chests or some uh, crafting benches. So let's actually use that and craft ourselves a little crafting bench. There we go, looking nice. And we'll stick that one right there. And then you guessed it, we'll cut in here like this and we'll open it up so it looks a little bit more accessible. Nice, look at that. Oh, I love it. Oh, that's really cool. So I think this is uh, really coming out. So yeah, let me just add some more little bits of detail here and we'll finish this up. All right, and welcome back. So I'm uh, just trying to kind of fit in uh, extra little blocks here and there, trying to give it just a little more detail. So I'm just gonna try to make a little canvas on the back. Nothing too fancy, just a little bit of detail here. Now at the spawn of the server, there is a nice sheep farm. So I took quite the advantage of that farm. There we go. Oh, that's a rogue block right there. Uh, we'll come back for you. We'll come back for you. So what I decided to do is make the front right here. So this is kind of be where the front, this is where the driver is going to sit. So what we're going to do here after we uh, fix that one block there eventually. So we're going to put that block right there. And then down here, I'm going to cut out this one right there. And then I'm just going to fill that in right there. So it's like a nice little driver's seat as you go on your westward journey. There we go, sweet. So next thing we're gonna do from like right here and come on, there we go. Uh, we're just gonna make some little reins, you know, these were the horses go or what did they use actually? Were they oxes? They would have been actually oxes. Um, then we come down here like this. There we go. Come on, all the way down. There we go, looking good, looking good. Um, yeah, so it would be amazing if I had some horses on the server, but I don't. So maybe in the thumbnail, I will uh, recreate it in another world and put some horses here. I think it would look cool to have some horses here. 
Um, there we go. And looking good, look at that. We are starting to get there. This is starting to look somewhat convincing. Look at that, ah, wonderful. And then we'll jump on over here and I did add a little trail off the back and we'll possibly do maybe a live stream where we really terraform the area and make it a lot fancier. But uh, yeah, look at this thing, a little wagon train coming into town. Wonderful, and then we'll cut out these blocks along there. And then let's jump back up into the cabin and see if there's any more work we can do. Um, getting into here is gonna be a bit of a tricky ordeal. Um, I wasn't anticipating that. As always with my designs, it's a little more uh, style over function apparently. But uh, the interior I think is starting to look pretty good. So we'll remove that and then we'll replace that right there. Wonderful. There we go, my friend. So let me put the final touches on and uh, we'll take this wagon train on a little adventure. All right, and welcome back. Now I'm trying to come up with a cool design for our ceiling as we wrap up here. And let's grab out some extra blocks here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna sneak on over here and then build up some little uh, ropes of string and different cool things like that going all the way up like that. And we'll cut in here and put that there. So I don't know if I mentioned it, but a big thanks to Wells for giving me a couple new tools and different things like that as uh, we started out on the server because uh, that really helped get the, uh, the ball rolling here. There we go, looking good. We got that set up. I think that looks really nice. So one thing we need to, oh, hello there, Bob the Building Creeper Inspector. That's an issue. Um, so I was trying to do a little bit of terraforming on the back here, just a little bit. We don't have any resources to do terraforming. So this is the best I can do, you know, put some bone meal down, watch out for creepers um, and then make little tracks in the ground. I mean, with the only real resource we have is coarse dirt. That's kind of an issue. Uh, oh, gosh, Bob's behind this bush. What are we going to do? Uh, we sneak attack. Oh, gosh, there he goes. There we go. Wonderful. All right. So quickly, my friends, we're going to check our backs. OK, we look good. We look good. And this is going to be the way to get into the wagon. And we're just going to put a little staircase going up like that. And we jump on it and head right inside. And there we go. We've got our beautiful wagon all set up and ready to go. And let's take a couple little uh, shots of it here where we can see the details. And I think it's looking pretty good. We've uh, we created something kind of fun today, something a little different. We don't usually make kind of vehicle type things. So this was kind of a fun build. And once we get some more supplies, we'll be able to do a little bit more to it. And of course, the landscaping around it. But uh, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed today. And until next time, my friends, this has been Good Times with Scar. And I always really appreciate you guys taking the time to watch my videos. And if you believe the videos are the rating, that would be much appreciated. And until next time, we'll see you later. And away we go. You have been invited, okay, to the Chaos Crap SMP server. What? Oh my gosh, this is super cool.